Amazing to watch. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. So, me and David are currently in the south of France in a coastal town by the name of Saint Tropez. At the beginning of last week's episode, I showed you guys my beard. It continues to grow. I think it's probably too long now. I went from the white Drake to uh, someone called me Abraham Lincoln last night. I'm sick of fucking traveling. Everywhere we go, it's a different place, it's a different city, it's different people. I I'm gonna open this door, I don't even know who's gonna be in here. It's a fucking girl, bro. Like, I don't even know what's going on right now. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a house really quick. Alex, say something in Spanish. Hola, que tal, como estas? This is one of the coolest fucking views ever. Beautiful pool, screaming out into the middle of the uh, the ocean. All the big money people with the yachts off the coast of Central Pay. Crazy boats, crazy boats. I'm sure Jeff Bezos is out there somewhere. And then you gotta come back down to earth and we're right back here with the Instagram models. Crystal's about to shoot some booty pics with David. Say what's up, Crystal. Hey guys. So the best part about this yard though is that it leads down to the beach. Bonjour. 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 Tell them, what is it? The donuts with the Nutella, man. We put some Nutella in that shit. What's your name? Mike. So we're gonna make an M for you, man. No problem. Look at that, dude. It ain't a cheeseburger review, it's even better. Nutella caramel donut. Another squeezy. You're on to something. Merci. Merci. If you guys are asking yourself, like, what have you been doing, Mike? Where have you been? You haven't been in America. This is what I've been doing. Eating fucking donuts. And also, if you're watching this, don't ever think that you can't start a fucking donut stand and just sell them down by the by the ocean in San Tropez. It's possible. People do it. That dude's probably happier than I am. You want to buy that, Alice? I do. Fire, fire. How do you guys feel about traveling? Traveling. We love it. You like yeah. watching traveling on YouTube? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I know you. Aren't you the... Uh, boyfriend from Lana? God dang it. <laughs> That's all you are, man. <laughs> no way. Is it you? And now a word from our sponsors. All right, as you guys probably know, we've teamed up with Wizza and we're launching our very first giveaway with this 2021 Lamborghini Huracan Evo worth $235,000. This thing is absolutely crazy. Over 600 horsepower, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. So basically, if you have it, you're the king of your town. And since this is our very first campaign with Wizza, they're gonna be stepping it up and giving away a PlayStation 5 every single day that the giveaway is live all the way through the drawing for the Lamborghini on September 30th. The first 1,000 people that enter this giveaway using code HOUSE will get double entries. And if you use code HOUSE at any point during the giveaway, you'll get 10% additional entries. And since I'm the person that gets to kick off the first ever Wiz House giveaway, I also get to choose the good cause. So a portion of the proceeds from this Lamborghini giveaway are gonna go to changing the life of an addict in recovery forever. So this giveaway is now live. Go check it out. The link in the description below. Use code HOUSE and good luck. I'm in Puerto Rico for the first fucking time. The whole Impulsive Squad is here. Hey! The first thing I want to do when I get here is... That was not the first thing I wanted to do when I got here. Woo, that got me hyped. <laughs> this hasn't gone well for us in the past, but uh, while I was out in France, I got you a gift. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Stop no, <laughs> right no, now. No. Have you not learned your no, fucking no, no, stop. lesson? Stop. Don't, even, <laughs> don't give me a gift. Get out. And something tells me oh that it's going to change your life. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do stop. That. You started off all wrong. Have you been uh, abusing marijuana today at all? Me, no. <laughs> Let's go! It's a great gift. It's a great gift. Everyone loves, knows that I love Toblerone. You, you killed it, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Redemption! <laughs> Can you believe this cost more than the shrimp he got me on my birthday? <laughs> Bitch, on my side, it's a movie! Hey! What's Broly? I mean, Clay. <laughs> All right, so we went out last night to a club called 58 here in Puerto Rico after dinner at STK. Logan got ransacked. Not to dive back into it because there was a lot of comments after our last trip that people were genu genuinely worried about your, your health. Shut the fuck up! How you holding up, champ? And I say champ lightly. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding up. Uh, I woke up this morning and I tagged 100 times in a cool video. Oh, bro. <laughs> Me too, bro. Yo, I thought I thought I was about to go look at my tag photos, see some fun videos of us dancing last night. No, I'm just tagged in Josie making out with Bryce on a table. Damn. Just making out on a table. Like, bro, who even put that table there, fam? What would their ship name be, Brosie? <laughs> no, this is a weird topic. This is a weird topic. 
shout out to the new couple. We're happy for you. So look, I live here now, bro. So I work during the day. I, co I collect NFTs. I do research on crypto and shit, and then I just make my money. Yeah. So it's like a big office. Yeah. It's like a giant game of Mario Kart for adults, bro. Like everyone just drives golf carts around. Oh, David, do a creative transition, not swipping the golf cart. Dude, are these transitions even that creative? <laughs> Logan is driving us around in a tiny Hummer. So we're gonna go make fun of Jake when he works out, because everyone knows exercises for pussies. Oh my God. So it looks like Jake Paul's taking this Tyron Woodley fight pretty fucking serious. <laughs> Jake, 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 Jake! Ignore us, we're the crowd, baby. You put in that work. We're not even here. You put in that work. George, go. George is gonna go. Where are we going? Where are we going? George is really trying to do it. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did George end up in there? Quick! Quick, what is this place, Logan? This is the water park, baby. How you didn't show me this in the PowerPoint? Yes, I did. A hundred percent. You did, because I thought that was gonna be your like reason why you leave. We all did. We all did. That's why I thought he was coming. Oh, fuck, I might move here, like. dude. Bro, look, bro, 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 bro. See, this isn't like some joke ass, it's a real fucking deal, bro. He wasn't lying. He's dead serious. I got an actual lazy river. This looks sick. I'm thinking about it more and more. I don't know that LA's got much for me anymore. <laughs> yeah, Mike still lives in LA, huh? <laughs> Rolling in right now to the Impulsive Studio. I'm about to see it for the first time. Welcome to the studio space. Come on in, let's show you how it's done. What the fuck is happening? Wow. Yes. It looks, it really looks great, Logan. What a temporary. fucking upgrade. What do you mean it's fucking temporary? 300 episodes, number one podcast on fucking earth. What's this shit? Mike Orth is coming to do it all top of dollar. Yeah, Dog. Yeah, top of dollar. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is that? A giant fucking piece of wood stapled to a fucking wall? You want to know what the expenses were for last month? $140,000. What did you spend it on? Cause clearly it wasn't the fucking set! I don't even Jets. know. I don't know. Yeah, this is horrible. Hey, put this all right there. I like what you guys did, by the way. It looks really <laughs> nice, George. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I love it. I yeah. love it so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's so shitty, it's God. great. He started just just giving his kid a wedding. <laughs> he comes, he's like, that's not how you do it. <laughs> All right, we are outside Bun's Burger Shop. Show them the sign. Oh, Supposedly, this is like the five guys of Puerto Rico. George, I know you ain't already eaten as I do the intro. Well, I didn't do the burger yet. The fries are unbelievable. Are they actually? Unbelievable. It kind of looks like it. It's wrapped in the foil. It's got the same foil. The burgers are beefy. Look, bro, you say five guys, like I get excited. Midwest boy, I know five guys. The burger, when I see one, yeah. this looks good aesthetically. Let's see how it tastes. You can tell right off the bat, it's very cheesy. By the way, it's got pickles, it's got tomato, it's got the onions on it, the fried onions on the bottom, and it's got that same god dang stacker shack sauce, like the, the mayo, whatever it is. Here we go. Who did that? Why the fuck is there bird? Huh, okay, uh, you yeah. know? I don't know. I don't know anything. Do you know about this? Why would you ruin the That's fries hard. like that? Why would you do that? Hold on a sec, pause everything, don't say a word. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? How do you ruin anything with cheese? There's nothing in the world that can be ruined with cheese except for like laundry detergent. Like, it's fucking cheese sauce on fries, dog. You are causing a scene. All right, let's give these fries a shot. The fries are out of this world. He used to work at Five Guys for a long time. What are your thoughts on the burger? Hey, you, Jake. <laughs> Hold on, what are your thoughts on the burger? Head to head. That's what I'm saying. I agree. I agree. It I actually is up there. It actually. Head to head with what? With Get the fuck out. It is. Logan, I think you just. It, fuck y'all. No. Wow. No. Cancel Logan Paul. He dropped a burger. I don't want to be ju too judgmental, but if I ate this burger and ate the five guys, I think it would be very hard for me to tell which one's which. It's a really fucking good. I'm going to give it up. I'm going to give it an 8.6. This is my first time actually walking on the beach here in uh, Dorado. This is Dorado Beach. Show them the, show them like the sand. But yeah, it, it's very peaceful here. I totally could see me and my me and my David living here, to be honest with you. I don't know if I would want to spend my the last three years of my twenties here. Why? What's the problem? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, why? Why? But what is the? Why would you move here? I don't know. I don't know. All I'm saying is, it's just something to think about. So this is what Logan Paul's new kingdom looks like. Uh, we are finally, finally headed back to Los Angeles tomorrow. We've been on the road for I don't even know, like two plus weeks now. We're gonna be in Vegas next week. 
Then we're going out to Cleveland for the Jake Paul fight. If you're watching this from Cleveland, we'll be there for a few days. And then potentially going back out to Europe. And yes, David, potentially to Germany to see his mother and his homeland. Um, so if you're out in Europe, we're not done there yet. But we are done with this episode of The Night Shift. Thank you so much for working late with us today. We'll see you next week. We are clocking out. Peace! You know, Night Shift pop. We don't even check the price tags no more. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Uh, I got, um, sucked off an octopus. <laughs> what? What's going on with this guy? Is this what Puerto Rico does to you? <laughs> what did he say? He said I got sucked off by an octopus. <laughs> with, in full sincerity. Logan Paul. Can I get an autograph? Oh. Just get him. <laughs> Good one. Logan Paul, can I have your autograph? And you go, sure. He goes, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I like this good one, man. <laughs>